Hi Gemini, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do uh, June 8th to June 20th. Uh, this is your weekly reading. Uh, however, this week I'm actually doing two weeks because I fell behind a week. I like to usually publish your videos a week ahead of time so that uh, you can be aware of the upcoming challenges or blocks. Uh, that can help you change the energy because uh, you're, you're knowing what they are. So this week, as a bonus, I'm doing two weeks, but uh, next week we'll be back to one week, but you'll be a week ahead. So uh, depending on when you watch the reading. But let's get started with your reading. Uh, I actually didn't say uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Personal readings, uh, my monthly giveaway, details on how to enter, and then lastly, my new channel, Heal to Love 333. It is a manifestation healing and meditation channel, right, to help you uh, manifest love and abundance in your life. All right, so I just pulled three cards here. This is from Work Your Light Oracle Deck. We're going to read this towards the end of the reading. It is about... Um, it's guidance from your spirit guides, but also uh, it can be about your life path, okay? So your card already flipped out there. We'll read the Archangel Michael message at the end of the reading. If you've been with me for quite some time, you'll know that we re always read him or his message at the end of the reading. Okay. Let's uh, get started here. I feel like you have a lot of energy, gentlemen. I it's coming through me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so let's uh, start. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Let's get the overall energy for uh, Gemini. Let's get the overall energy for Gemini. All right, we got the five of wands. All right. Overall energy is the five of wands. Bottom of the deck gives the six of cups. So I feel here, okay. This is an energy here. I feel like there could be somebody here from your past. And as I say that, the judgment card comes out. That maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with them on a certain situation or you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Okay. Let's pull some more messages and see uh, what comes out. There also can be some drama or multiple people involved in the situation. But it's definitely an energy of feeling like you're not getting anywhere. Okay. It also can be an internal struggle. Okay. Um, could be somebody on your mind somebody that uh, you have a strong connection with but let's uh, pull some cards thank you angels and spirit for your guidance and messages does Gemini need to know June 8th through the 20th Sun Moon rising and Venus okay you have the seven of cups now you can check out your other signs there is a playlist link below you have the king of wands and you have the page of Pentacles all right Bottom of the deck here, you have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're hoping, maybe even wishing uh, for... For some sort of message here, okay? Or some sort of good news in your situation. You have the Seven of Cups, okay? Water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel it's a situation where maybe, you, like I said, you're not getting anywhere. There's no clarity. Uh, could be, you know, maybe there's a lot of people fighting for you, Gemini, <laughs> if you're in a uh, <coughs> situation <coughs> where you are dating and, and there's competition, all right? Um, or maybe you're dating somebody here where there's a lot of competition, but you have the King of Wands, okay? I feel like you're hoping for some sort of action, for someone to take some sort of action with this King of Wands. Um, I feel to give you clarity in a situation. Okay, this can be you needing to take some sort of action as well, but I always see the, the Page of Pentacles in this deck. You can see this person is 
like staring at this pentacle. So I always get the message like this person's waiting for something. Either waiting for a message, they're waiting for some good news, okay? Or they're they're waiting for uh, uh you know, an offer or promotion or something like that. You're waiting for some sort of action to take place and I feel it's um going to uh, give you some sort of clarity. Now we're going to pull more cards. I will clarify as well. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Gemini, June 8th through the 20th? You have the Five of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like it's going to work out nicely. Okay, so I do feel like what you hope and for wishing for, there is a sense here. Now you have the Hangman. Okay, so it feels like there has been some time that has passed or maybe there is some sort of delay, okay, complication that's hanging things up. I'm getting as well. Okay, you have the Five of Cups here. So I feel whatever this struggle could be an argument, uh, like I said, maybe you're not getting along with someone. There could be some drama or something going on. Um, but what I feel here, a lot of you, this is going to be some sort of relationship. And I feel there's a lot of disappointment. There's sadness. There's disappointment here. I'm almost hearing like you don't like you like um, I don't know what went wrong is what spirit just told me. Okay, that might be specific to certain people. Now have the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I do get here now that we've pulled more cards. I feel like there is some sort of clar clarity that's going to happen. There is some sort of breakthrough. However, I feel like there could be a bit of a delay, okay, for this to happen. And then you have the Page of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like there is some sort of good news or offer coming through that's going to bring stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so I feel the struggle here is temporary and that you are going to gain the clarity that you're seeking. Okay, can be communication from uh, this fire energy, Aries Leo Sag. We also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I think we have all the energies on the board. We do. All right. So let's uh, clarify. Thank you, angels and spirit. Why is the uh, Seven of Cups here? Okay. Prince of Swords. Yeah, there's lack of communication in the situation. Prince of Swords energy. Lack of communication or clarity I'm getting. You may even be feeling doubtful or skeptical about the situation, whether things are going to work out. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? You have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there is, a, there is some sort of disappointment here. Okay, an energy here of things not working out or things not coming together. Uh, not, a, not enough effort from... Not a... Um, a lot of collaboration or working together I'm getting as I said it could be some sort of drama in a workplace I'm getting as well why is the king of wands here please you have the justice card okay strong Libra energy yeah I feel there's there's clarity uh, coming I feel like um, this is gonna work out good for you I feel there is the um, you know, whatever your situation is, I feel there's going to be some sort of justice here. There is going to be clarity, a breakthrough, a new start, opportunity for a new start. This also could be a legal situation is what I'm getting. Okay, maybe you haven't heard uh, anything on your legal situation. It's been some time. There's been delays. All right. Uh, so I do see here uh, justice. Okay, a breakthrough. Uh, but like I said, I feel for some of you, this is definitely a relationship. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Relationship or a um, connection. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Four of Cups. Okay. Let's get one more. And the Prince of Wands. Okay. 
bottom of the deck here you have the eight of pentacles so i do feel like there's going to be some clarity that uh or breakthrough some justice here okay you have the eight of cups and you have the seven of wands i feel this is a situation where you may have um walked away from this situation in the past or you just felt unsatisfied you know definitely here with the seven of wands showing some sort of struggle but this is also a card of making progress okay or actually yeah this is moving on from a situation so i do see progress in the situation you have the four of cups and you have the prince of wands so yeah, I feel like this is a situation where you've been hoping for some sort of offer here. Okay, uh, there may have been some inconsistency, some back and forth. So if it's a legal situation, you may have gone back and forth and you maybe weren't satisfied with past offers or settlements or something like that. But if this is a love situation, I feel there's a return of somebody here who was in and out of your life, somebody who was inconsistent but I do feel like they are returning. But a part of you, I feel here, it may be feeling doubtful or skeptical because of this past. You have the Eight of Pentacles here as well. Okay, so I feel like things are going to work out for you. Like I said, this could even be a situation in work if it resonates for you. All right? You also have the Hierophant here, Strong Taurus Energy. This could be somebody you're in a relationship or married to. Maybe you still are. Okay. Or it can be the breakthrough here that it's needed to really work on things. Maybe this person now is ready to work on things where in the past I feel like they weren't. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the uh, Ten of Pentacles here? king of swords bottom of the deck here look at that the alchemist so you're manifesting a new beginning here <coughs> excuse me you have the ten of wands and you have the ten of pentacles okay so i feel like you're coming to the end of a difficult cycle here i feel there is stability coming through so whether this is some sort of new uh, offer money promotion okay a message from somebody that you uh, clearly there is um, some sort of argument or not getting along okay or not being on the same page there was no cooperation i was getting here in the past uh, or lack of communication. I even feel there could have been miscommunication in your situation. Uh, but I feel that's coming to an end here with the Ten of Wands. Uh, you may be carrying this all on your shoulders, like I said, waiting for some sort of action in your situation, waiting for, um, for fairness, okay, to come through. And I feel like that's coming here with the Ten of Pentacles. So if you've been feeling like you haven't felt stability in a situation, I, that is definitely changing. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the King of Swords. So again, shows me, again, communication coming through, a new beginning, a conversation I'm getting. So I feel like you could have a conversation uh, with someone uh, where you gain some sort of victory, okay, or fairness in that conversation but uh let's pull the possible outcome thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what's the possible outcome in the situation for gemini okay gosh this came out okay i've been saying here this has come out in almost every reading i've done today this came out in the same position for aquarius <laughs> interesting so the moon card okay so i feel they're saying here because you have the seven of cups you have the moon card five of cups here don't let the disappointment and the emotion okay create an illusion and what i mean by that your thoughts can go rampant and create fears 
okay which can block you okay can block uh, things coming together here in the situation because you're gonna you're gonna attract uh, what you're thinking could be dealing with a Pisces or a cancer as well okay and also the new moon is on June 10th so you may be feeling emotional during that time as well but I always see this card in this deck as somebody who's waiting okay maybe waiting for the answers okay like I said there could have been a miscommunication here or there's lack in communication you have the devil card strong oh okay too many cards there uh, strong Capricorn energy let's get one more card and you have the star card bottom of the deck Okay, you have the Nine of Cups energy, okay, in the beginning here. I do feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. You also have the Hermit, okay, could be dealing uh, with a Virgo. I feel like they're saying here, just really use your intuition, your wisdom here. Um, you could be a, a bit of a Hermit since this happened as well, okay, but they're really saying use that inner light to help guide you. So the devil card. So with this energy, I feel there could be some sort of unhealthy pattern. Okay, this also can be obsessive thinking. All right, this can be that fear that I talked about. Also a strong attachment to something here. For some of you, you know, if you're going through a legal battle or whatever, you know, there could be... Um, You know, you could be dealing with somebody here who is not so nice. I'll just say that. You also have the star card, strong Aquarius energy. So I feel like this is saying here, this is with the Ten of Pentacles, the communication, all right? Something you've been waiting for is coming through here. So I feel it's very hopeful. I feel things are going to come into alignment for you, even if you're not seeing it right now. Okay, this is the stars aligning, wishes coming true. I did say you have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So I feel it's very positive for you, Gemini. I just feel here, um, you know, you're going through this difficult, you may be going through this difficult time right now and you may not see it. So let's look at um, your oracle cards. I'm just looking at... Uh, my dog, Miss Bella, checking out what she's doing on my bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, sorry about that here. All right. So, we're going to start with this card. You have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay. So, I feel what Spirit is saying here is that if you knew how much support you have from your guides, from spirit, your angels, all right? Uh, they're saying here that you would probably take that leap of faith. You would have more trust. You would go forward passionately with life, all right? So they're really wanting to say here is that they're behind you. They're guiding you. They're leading you here, and they want you to know that you are supported, all right? And that fell here too with that with this fear energy. Okay, there's nothing to be fearful about or or feeling like you don't have all the answers right now because I feel you are very much supported here with this card. Now you have here uh, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? And that's what I was saying with the devil card. This can be about um, holding on to things that are unhealthy for us. Things that. Um, you know, we keep repeating the same pattern. It can be an addiction. It's going to be different for everybody, right? There could be that fear of releasing whatever this is as well. You have here transformation. Things are changing at a cellular, cellular level, deep healing. So I feel what they're saying here. You definitely fell with the star card as well. I feel you're going through a healing 
Uh, this can also be guidance that that's something you want to check out. I do have a lot of healing videos below. I am a Reiki therapist, so I do incorporate Reiki energy into the videos. But this is about your transformation. Okay, this is your your path doing what's good for you. And meditation, okay, meditation I feel here is going to help you is what I'm hearing. But things are, get, are getting to a place where things are going to be more stable. You're going to feel good. Okay, you're, I feel you're doing a lot of inner uh, reflection here as well. So let's pull your uh, last message, which is uh, an Archangel Michael message. The card, this is one of my favorite cards. I love it just because of the picture, the blue wings. Uh, he's holding a uh, puppy in the palm of his hands. So this card is called Innocence. Archangel Michael is holding you in a comforting embrace, assuring you of your innocence. Ask him to help you forgive yourself and let go of guilt, which is a heavy emotion that keeps you from experiencing inner peace. By saying, Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me forgive myself for this situation and for anything else I blame myself for. Please help me release all self-blame from my mind, my body, and my emotions. Feel the sensation of deep release as Archangel Michael helps you embrace your true innocence. Your past behavior could never undo God's perfect handiwork in creating you as a powerful, loving, and much-needed being of light and love. So possible specific meanings, the individual you are inquiring about is innocent. And remember that all of these may not apply. So just take the ones that do. Purify or detoxify. You can trust the situation that you're asking about. Focus on another people's, I'm sorry, focus on other people's good qualities instead of their mistakes. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is, Dear God and angels, Thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. So very nice message there from Archangel Michael. Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.